Hi friends, welcome to MKids. So before we get going, are you ready to warm up? We're gonna do the robots. Are you ready? Let's start. Robot, robot, robot. Can you move? Can you move? Robot, robot. There we go. Well done, guys. Let's begin. Can you draw something before we continue? You know by this time that we can talk and draw together even though we are not with each other physically. So get your paper and pencil so that we can start. Draw three simple pictures next to each other. The first one, your head with a thought cloud. The second one, your heart. And the last one, your body. Good. Now write down a number between one and 10 next to each picture to say how well it is going with these, with these elements of who you are or maybe how it's not going really well at all. One is really difficult, three is not good but not too bad, six is okay and ten is very, very good. Have a look. Sometimes it looks as if it's going well, but on the inside we really aren't that well at all. Sometimes people can see you're sick, but they can't see that your heart feels even worse. There's a true story in the Bible of how Jesus looked at someone and he could see that it's not only his body that was sick, but that he needed help on the inside as well, with his heart, with which it wasn't really going well. Jesus helped him so that the whole him was able to feel better inside and out. It was a double miracle. Let's read together. Some men arrived carrying a paraplegic on a stretcher. They were looking for a way to get into the house and set him before Jesus. When they couldn't find a way in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof, removed some tiles and let him down in the middle of everyone, right in front of Jesus. Impressed by their bold belief, he said, Friend, I forgive your sins. That, said the religion schol scholars and Pharisees buzzing. Who does he think he is? That's blasphemous talk. God and only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew exactly what they were thinking and said, Why all this gossipy whispering? Which is simpler to say, I forgive your sins, or to say, get up and start walking? Well, just so it's clear that I'm the son of man and authorized to do either or both, he now spoke directly to the paraplegic. Get up, take your bedroll and go home. Without a moment's hesitation, he did it, got up, took his blanket and left for home, giving glory to God all the way. The people rubbed their eyes, stunned, and then also gave glory to God. Awestruck, they said, we've never seen anything like that. Can you imagine how shocked everyone must have been when they saw a man being let down from the roof? That man had to have the best friends because they helped him. Even Jesus thought, wow, these men believe. They wanted Jesus to heal their friend so much. When the room was too full, they made another creative plan to get their paraplegic friend to Jesus. Jesus looked at the man and saw his whole story, what he feels, thinks and wonders. Even before Jesus healed his body, he said, your sins are forgiven. Jesus knew immediately that the man needed it to be forgiven. That's very special. The man doesn't have to wonder if God is angry with him. He doesn't have to worry that he's bad or that Jesus is disappointed in him. He is free from sin. Jesus helped him feel better as a person. If he had to draw his pictures like you started with, his numbers would have gone from a 1 to an 8, a 9 or even a 10. But you guys, the people didn't really believe that Jesus can forgive sins. Can you believe that? Jesus decided that he will do another thing. He will show them that he can do anything by healing the man's body so that he can walk. Then people will believe that he has the power and the right to forgive sins. Because Jesus is who he says he is, the man got up and walked. He was healed. The whole of him felt better. He doesn't feel guilty about what he had done anymore. His heart's thoughts and everything feel, feel better. And Jesus healed his body too. Now friends, Jesus also sees when you feel guilty over things that you have done or thought about. 
He wants your heart and thoughts to feel better by forgiving you. God doesn't stay angry. You can laugh again and know that Jesus loves you and He is proud of you. He will help you to try again and Jesus forgives you. And that is why the whole you can feel better. So take a deep breath and say with me, Jesus, here I am. Forgive me. Feel Him looking at you and saying to you, Smile, my child, you are forgiven. What a big gift to be forgiven. I hope you can also forgive others like that and feel how others forgive you. I reach up high, I touch the ground, I stamp my feet and I turn around. I love to woo, woo. praise the Lord. I jump and dance with all my might, though I look funny, that's alright. I love to woo, woo. praise the Lord. I'll do anything just for my done everything for me it doesn't matter who is looking on Jesus is the person that I want to please I reach up high I touch the ground I stamp my feet and I turn around pray together. Lord Jesus, thank you for loving us so much and that you want to help us to feel better. Thank you that we can feel better when we remember that we are forgiven. Thank you that you are always with us. Amen. Bye guys, enjoy your week.